Hello, today I'll be showing you a simple and clever way of coding a temperature display change. So we're going to have a temperature element, and this is it for the structure. Let's move on to the CSS. We're going to have a diameter for this thing, something like 15 amps. Next, we're going to have a temperature element, and we're going to give it a width equal to that diameter, and a height equal to the same diameter. We're going to give it the background just so that we can see it. And next, we're going to uh, do something like a border radius. So a uh, border radius 50%. Uh, just to make it a pie. And now let's make this pie into a donut and we do that with a mask. So this is going to be a radial gradient from a uh, transparent, um, let's say uh, something like 0.35 uh, times the diameter for uh, the stop. Uh, next, uh, black because this is an alpha mask, uh, zero, so that we have a sudden change. So uh, here I'm going to have, uh, not there, here, uh, mask. Now let's just uh, copy paste this and for the first one I'm going to add the WebKit prefix uh, because otherwise it's not going to work in Chrome. Um, and the whole thing is only going to work in Chrome with a flag enabled, but I'm using the unprefixed uh, thing for backwards compatibility, that's all there is to it. So something else I'm going to do here is split this into uh, 20 slices. So this is the number of slices, then I'm going to have a function that does just that. So a uh, slice, and I'm going to have a cutoff value. This is going to be R2, uh, so I'm going to cut off uh, two slices on, on uh, each half uh, of my uh, donut. Then I'm going to have a gap, and this is going to be something like 1.5%. I'm going to have a slice list. This is going to be just transparent initially. And at the end, I'm going to uh, return this uh, slice list. But in between, I'm going to do a number of things. So let's see what those are. First of all, I'm going to uh, compute a constant value, and this is n minus uh, twice that offset, um, cutoff, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's both. So I'm going to have a unit slice. So um, this is going to be 100% over the number of slices. Uh, next, I'm going to have a hue span. This is going to be 240 out of 360 because that works pretty well because I want to go from uh, blue to red. So I'm going to have a unit hue, uh, and this is going to be uh, my span, oh, sorry, my span, uh, over n, that constant value. Then I'm going to have a loop for i from 0 uh, to n. And here I'm going to keep updating the slice list. So it's going to be its previous version, and I keep adding up stuff. So I add up um, the second uh, stop for uh, the transparency, and uh, that's going to be... Um, the cutoff plus the current index um, times the uh, unit plus half the gap. So now that I've done this, I'm going to move on to the color, and this is an HSL value. Um, the hue is going to be the span minus the current index plus one uh, times uh, the unit hue. Uh, then I'm going to have a calc value for the saturation and a constant value for uh, the luminosity. Um, and then, but before anything else, let's compute the saturation. So I'm going to have something times 85%. Um, and this something is going to be a progress uh, minus, and here I'm going to need to add up the cutoff um, and the current index. Now, this progress is initially zero. Okay, um, now let's see the stops for uh, this color. So first one is going to be zero, so that I have sudden change. And the second one is going to uh, go a unit minus the gap. So um, I'm going to add one unit and I'm going to subtract a gap. So that's going to be minus there. And finally, I go back to the uh, transparent and zero so that I have a sudden change. Now I change this background uh, right here uh, and I'm going to use a uh, slice. This is not going to be a uh, radial, um, it's going to be conic, okay? It's just that I don't have autocomplete for conic, that's all. But I don't want this to start from the top, I want it to start from the bottom. So I'm going to do from half a turn. And yeah, this is it. Um, now I'm going to show you something. If I move this to 10, you can see I have a start of a rainbow. Now, last thing that I want to do here is an animation. So our keyframes are going to go to, sorry. Um, that's going to be my progress 
uh, n plus 1. Now that I've done this, I'm going to have animation um, over 4 seconds, uh, steps again, n plus 1, uh, infinite and alternate. So um, this uh, should now do it if I register this property. So uh, CSS register property and here I'm going to have a name which is the one I've used so far. No changes there, no surprises. Uh, syntax and this is number. Um, and finally initial value which is zero so that I don't have to uh, set it in the CSS. So I can delete that thing right there. Now, something I want to do here is um, I want um, to also display the value. And to do this, I'm going to use some before and uh, after elements. So um, before and um, after, I'm going to set that animation in there. Um, now for my before, I'm going to move some properties from here, so I'm going to move these. Just uh, put them in here. Um, align everything uh, properly, content. Okay, uh, I'm going to make this absolutely positioned. I'm going to uh, top zero, um, right zero, bottom zero, and finally left zero. So now that I've done this, I'm going to make this relatively positioned so and that it looks nice again. Now, my final thing here is going to be an after, and this is going to use um, counter reset. I'm going to use a value here, and this is going to be a calc, and I'm going to use the progress here, plus 16. This is my baseline temperature, and then I'm going to have uh, content. Uh, counter using that value so uh, it displays it right there as you can see okay um, I'm going to um, change the font a bit so let's make this uh, three ends and make it uh, a nicer font and also let's uh, add degrees in there so on that there sorry it looks nicer. Uh, now, something else I'll be doing, I'll be adding something like uh, a body, um, but before I'm going to have a silent class, a uh, flex, and this is going to be display flex, line item center, uh, justify content center, and now I'm going to uh, extend that silent class. So, um, extend flex. Okay, so um, this is the problem right there. Okay, so something else I want to do here is uh, margin zero, uh, height, full height, uh, make this a dark background so that I can see stuff. But now I'm not going to see the text anymore, so let's uh, fix that thing. Um, so here I'm going to have a color and I'm going to use something like Gainsborough. Uh, this should do it. Now one more final uh, thing I'm going to want to do. So let's collapse this. Uh, let's go back up on the body and here I'm going to use a background uh, image. So URL uh, it's going to be 50% uh, cover. And now let's take the link, uh, copy paste it. And now it should work. And it does. So yeah, this is it for today. This is what I wanted to show you. I hope you've enjoyed this video. And if you have and you want me to be able to do more stuff in the future, please consider supporting my work in one of the ways explained in the description. You can do it with a donation. There's a link and any amount can contribute towards helping me stay afloat and not sink. Or you can also make this kitty happy by getting her something off her Amazon wishlist. There are two links you can click right there in the description. 
uh, or you can support the implementation of the features in this uh, article that um, in this um, video that are not cross-browser like Conic Gradient, Houdini. These are only supported by Chrome behind a flag. So yeah, that's it. Um, not a very good support. Or you can at least share this to show, to show the world what can be done with CSS these days. Because honestly, I think it's pretty damn cool. In any event, thanks for watching.